All right, Oval fans, um, a couple articles I want to cover, and I'll do an article per video, because I said that after I did my episode review and the trailer breakdown, and maybe a couple other videos like um, Clarence showing up and the fact that Barry was kidnapped rather than killed, there really wasn't much about the 100th episode to talk about outside of the you know discussion topics, because the episode was really dry. But there is an article from BET, uh, the actors, uh, Ed Quinn and... Uh, Let's see here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Both Hunter and Victoria. They discussed the twist in the Oval's 100th episode. And, I, and the, the, the title threw me off. I'm like, what twist? So I'm going to go through the article. And you know the drill. There's a link to the article in the comment section below. The actors who play the first and, well, well, the first lady and the president discussed the show's milestones and the future of Hunter and Victoria's relationship. All right. Political dramas become far more engrossing when they're a product of fiction, which might explain the dedicated viewership of The Oval and how it's been a, you know, hit on the network since 2019. The series isn't just about political intrigue. It's a whirlwind of pandemonium at every level within the White House, spanning from the president to the butler, toss in special ops and a cult amidst the abundant uh, just craziness. And you've got a show where predicting the character's action becomes impossible ensuring there's always a lingering su suspense well that's been my job for the past what four years and i've done pretty decent with predicting where it's going to go i haven't been on the money all the time but i think i've done a pretty decent job so meh. the show has consistently captured the audience attention particularly amongst african-american viewers solidifying its position as a top rated scripted series Celebrating episode 100, the ongoing storyline remains packet, packed with unresolved threats. Sharon remains in jail. Yeah, because we haven't seen her at all this season. Richard's affections for Nancy is waning. Jason is on the lam. Barry's still missing. And Priscilla appears to be embroiled in uh, Caldestine operations. Look, if there's a word I don't know, I'll let you know. Or just change the words to something I do know. Meanwhile, the vice president's wife is piecing together Eli's secrets, among other entangled narratives. Notably, the rift between Hunter and Victoria continues to deepen. I mean, there's always been a rift. Okay, from there, the actors portraying the first lady and president discuss episode 100 and its implications for the remainder of the season. Hopefully, look, I have not read this article, so I'm hoping that um, this article does give me something to get excited for. VET. Ask the question. It seems the ebb and flow for who is the most evil, you know, it's like a back and forth between Hunter and Victoria. Sometimes it's Victoria, other times it's Hunter. But from your perspective, who is the worst of the two? All right. I'm just going to say K and E. K for the first lady, E for the president, because that's your actor's name. I think Victoria is the most evil. She's the most diabolical and deliberate. This season's going to be crazy. You're not ready for the twists and turns. The audience is going to be surprised by some of the happening, so I don't want to give any spoilers. But I think you know Hunter is just as evil, but in a different way. I don't know if you want to take that one, Ed, or E. Hunter, yeah, I'll just call them by their character name. That's how I know them best. Hunter says, I agree with you. They're both diabolical in different ways, but also I think they'll be tested th this season, but they were meant for each other. That's interesting. There's a reason that we're still together. There's a reason we sleep in the same bed. And I think we're also, you know, they've been on this lifelong journey together. It's been typical, mundane, and Hunter gets to win a new election. Victoria's parents get more money or parent considering, you know, Jason killed her mother. Hunter has more side chicks. It's just culminating in this sort of big explosion that takes place this year, this season. And in my opinion, this is our best season creatively. I, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned recently that I think season five, if it continues at the same level of quality, then it is a contender for the best season. Uh, season one was a lot of fun establishing, but this season in particular story wise, I think people are already seeing it and it's just so fun. It gets wild and we always say that every season, but this from a creative perspective is one of the best seasons. And I know what the final scene of the season is and it's fantastic. Fair enough, because obviously the actors were there for it, so they know. All right, BET then asked a the question. Hunter has gotten increasingly more in unhinged. He is healing, but also in this space of is he going to die or is it you know or is he not going to die 
but it's cool. The hundredth episode is tonight. Oh, this article takes place before the hundredth episode. That explains a lot. Okay, the hundredth episode is tonight, and it will pick up from him shooting in the bedroom. I well, technically that was Alonzo. I say that to ask if each of you could just give me a moment that you would consider one of the wildest or most shocking moments in the show's history thus far. Hunter goes on to say, I got to be careful because there's stuff coming. We keep upping the ante and going, what the hell? One is the death and cover up assassination of Ellie, covering up Jason's multiple murders and Victoria trying to take Jason out at the hospital. Uh, Victoria, what do you think? It's like once you start trying to find one, you just keep finding more. And I like how Ed addressed, uh, Quran as Victoria. She go she goes on to say exactly. Yeah, the most explosive is to come. Like Hunter said, I think Victoria trying to take Jason out at the hospital would be, I mean, can you imagine that happening in real life? I think for me, that's been one of the craziest, like Ed said. It's hard to choose one because you think of one, and then he goes on to say, and it all prepares us for what's coming because what's coming is nuts. Alright. What can you tell me about the one hundredth episode? Okay, hopefully this is brief because I, you know, I don't. Yeah. Hunter says Hunter is trying to still, uh, still trying to piece together what happened because he doesn't believe that he overdosed, and he's continuing to piece it together because you know he's unhinged. Like that's why I love this season so much. And every episode he gets a little closer to the low truth. Everybody tells him he's crazy. You did this to yourself, which honestly he did. Okay. And, you know, that's one fun thing about Hunter. He just seems like this big, dumb frat boy who just parties and doesn't care. But he's good at it, the intrigue and the bullshit, and we can see through it. And if you watch season to season, he's always kind of right about the things that are about to be revealed. No, You know what? I will give him credit for that. Yeah, that is that is true. The episode pulls back a layer of the onion, or we're getting closer to the core. I don't really think it did that. Um, Victoria goes on to say, I'm sure the audience wants to know or is clamoring to determine whether Jason will come in and blow my cover. Speaking of Jason, oh, oh, okay, I can't wait for this one. BET then says, speaking of Jason, is Gail coming back? <sighs> Hunter says, we sure hope so. We're always talking about her. There's a big scene about her in this season as well. I love that Jason was over at the Rakadushis. That is a spinoff of The Oval. And there hasn't been much crossover pollination, so that's a great place for us to go for later. You know, Ruthless, and I always feel like because Melissa's twin died at the end of season one, uh, technically it was the mid-season finale, and I just keep feeling like her character, Ruth, could always make a comeback, so we'll see. That really doesn't give me an answer I wanted, but oh well. Okay, BET then says, can you tell me what it's like working on set? Because it feels like you guys are rolling and you're in character. There's all this outlandish stuff happening. And then when the cameras go off, you're probably cracking up laughing like, what did I just do? So what is it like on set? Victoria says, yeah, we're either out of a, sc a scene, cracking up laughing or passing out from exhaustion. Hunter goes, yeah. Uh, Victoria says, we film so much in a day. It's insane how Tyler can pack so much content into one just 24 hours. We're able to film the entire series over two weeks, so coming out of a scene, like I said, we're either rolling directly into another scene, which is crazy, or like I said, we're just exhausted and our brains are fried. Hunter then says, there isn't a lot of time for goofing around on set and hanging out and going to craft. It's such a race, and also, I think it's why there's a real continuity to the show, because you shoot it all. We're shooting so fast and so much that you're sort of in a headspace, and it's like, you know, it's not like you come to suit, shoot this scene and then the next scene in the episode, you shoot a week, a week later. Victoria says, it's a wild ride. If you think the show is a wild ride, taping the show is even wilder. Okay, I believe that. All right, then the final, then the final question. Who's going to make it another four years? Victoria says, we're hoping that you and all the fans tune in tonight for episode 100. We're so excited to be here. Only a few people can say they made it to 100 episodes in their respective series. So we're proud. We're so happy that the fans are still rolling with us and that, you know, they're still enjoying the ride. And that's the article in itself. So what did you think? Um, let me know in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to the article so you can check it out for yourself. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.